TRS Clips, the place you arrive at if you just want the best bits of India's smartest podcast, The Ranbir Show. Subscribe, hit that bell icon. No one really knows, you know, your love story. So maybe if you could take us through that really quick and then how the love story has panned out in the last 10 years. Because people don't know these things about you. And I'm shamelessly going to ask you about your personal life here. <laughs> Well, I, I've always been a bit reticent to discuss it, but um, what was really nice, uh, you know, with Ashwari and me is uh, we've always been friends. You know, from before I became an actor, I, I first met her actually when I was a production boy, and uh-huh. I was uh, there was a film my father was making called Mrityu Data, and I I had gone as uh, for the location recce in Switzerland because. the company felt because i'd grown up in switzerland in boarding school that i would be able to take them to nice locations so i was sent there to find locations and stuff and um i'd been there for a couple of days and obviously you know all alone and uh, that's when a dear childhood friend of mine bobby diol was shooting his first film or pr ho gaya over there and and he and he got to know i was there and he said hey why don't you come over for dinner and um that's you know the first time when they were shooting is when i met ashwarya and uh, so obviously you know you meet socially and then a uh, very early in my career the 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 second film i ever shot started shooting for was a movie called dhayakshar prem ke uh in which she was cast as well and we did several films as as co-stars and we'd always been friends and i mean once you start working obviously you, you form a, a a better bond and we were always friendly we always loved talking to each other were you crushing on her just a little bit throughout this who doesn't like, who doesn't crush on her? come on come on okay. go on go on <laughs> and and um we were always friends and she i always found her very contrary to this whole image that she has i found her to be so normal and so grounded and so cool and mm. she was very you know um we have this image that she's you know this but but she was she was just so normal so warm and we always we just hit it off immediately we were always good friends you know we stayed in touch whatever and I think that friendship just grew into love, and and then you know it took it from there. So I think the the foundation of a relationship has been friendship, and we've maintained that throughout. You know, mm-hmm. um, I think brutal honesty, coupled with with unconditional love and support, I think that um, are some of the most important pillars of of a healthy marriage. Plus communication. You know, she uh, she 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 does the heavy lifting in 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 the relationship. You know, um, uh, she's she's just amazing. I'm I'm so blessed to have her, and you know, um, I'm so thankful that 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 she you know that she's in part of my life and she's my partner, and she truly is that partner for me. You know, she's my anchor. She she grounds me. She's my go to person when I'm when I'm you know conflicted about something. She just sorts out a lot of stuff. Yeah. uh and you know the i mean the the outside perspective on dating or marrying someone like ashwarya rai for a lot of brothers is yo really i'm getting to date or marry ashwarya rai or a girl like that so you know when you were when you weren't married and when you got to know that yo marriage is a possibility what was going on in your head because a lot of guys uh aren't able to wrap their head around i mean that's happened to me as well you know when you're dating someone who's like that you're just like yo how do i even process this Or, or take us through your confidence game. You know that's the alternative question. If you don't want to take us through, yeah, uh, I don't know. You know, like I said, I think you could feel that if that the other person makes you feel like that. Hmm. But she's, I mean, if you ever get the opportunity to meet her or speak to, you'll come. You you'll be completely disarmed by her simplicity, hmm. and she's very real and very normal. So you never, you know, she never puts out that vibe. So you never end up thinking like that. Yo, but it, it's it's also I. This is just my hunch, and that's what worked for you even in the mid two thousands. I'm gonna say it. There was a lot of actors using steroids, trying to get like six pack ripped, and you had your own image. You were you know away from the pack. But what worked for you was your vibe. Your confidence used to come out on screen. I'm so sure that's had a role to play in your love story as well. So don't don't deny that. Yeah, I, I'll have <laughs> to ask her, man. <laughs> Do you feel so? Do you feel so? I never really thought about it to be honest. I never really thought about it, but uh, I'll ask her. 